What is up, my people? We started this channel more than a year ago, and the very first product we had on our workbench was Noctua's NH-U12S cooler. This time, folks, we've prepared the new and improved NH-D15, and spoiler alert, this is probably the best air solution for your CPU at the moment. Oh, how I remember building my editing rig a few years back and choosing the i7-8700K as my weapon of choice. Each and every guide that could be found online recommended the Noctua NH-D15 as the go-to cooler for anyone who wanted a mid-tier build and above. Then they were still using their traditional poopy color design, so I decided not to go for it, but a year later I received your standard NH-D15 for review. This is when I saw the perfection that is Noctua, and I am not over-exaggerating when I say that they were truly pushing the boundaries back then. However, with premium quality, comes a premium price, and gamers usually want something more palpable while using their machine. My general consensus is, if you've got the cashola, get yourself a Noctua cooler. You definitely won't regret it. Enough mumbo jumbo, let's begin the review. Now, I know this was my little soliloquy, but Noctua never ceased to amaze me. Just by touching the product, you can already tell that the NHD15 is no pushover and offers top-notch performance. Aside from that, the design, at least for me, is perfect. The mounting is simple, it's incredibly quiet, and the goodies that come with the package bring more to the table than any other cooler brand. And guess what? The coolers are no longer extrament color only. You can finally choose the Ford color black. Since last year, Noctua even added Chromax colors to their arsenal. It's good to note that there is no actual difference between your standard brown and the beautiful black variant. Before the purchase, you should of course make sure that this chongus of a CPU cooler can actually enter your tight case as it's 165 millimeters high and weighs in at a whopping 1.3 kilograms. This currently is the chonkiest cooler on the market. Somehow, the Austrians actually managed to make this plus size cooler compatible with our systems. As you can see, it fits nicely inside the Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi motherboard. Although they did everything possible to make the cooler available for installation to a wider audience, it is still not recommended for builds where RAM modules are placed high. The installation was simple in our case, and the cooler fit marvelously alongside the standard Trident Z RAM sticks. The extra goodies inside the package are always a plus, and Noctua spared no effort to offer us a bunch of them. There are two additional wires if you opt to install the second fan. Then there's the NTH1 thermal paste, and a little birdie told me that they might start distributing the new and improved NTH2 paste very soon. Aside from your standard add-ons for mounting the cooler on popular AMD and Intel platforms, there are two adapters as well, which adjust the RPM, and a Y-splitter that synchronizes the rotation through a PWM connector. The performance of the cooler is nothing short of amazing thanks to the 140mm NF-A15 fan, which is hailed as one of the best on the market. The cooler is adorned by six nickel-plated copper tubes with a matte finish. As you can probably tell, the body of the cooler is also matte and looks awesome. If we turn the cooler over, the bottom side is smooth as a mirror, and the thermal paste only ruins the surface by filling the small crevices. The numbers on the graph speak for themselves, as the cooler is not only quiet, but it also marvelously controls the temperature, and honestly, it was a bit of an overkill for our 5600 CPU, so we gave it to a friend who is using a 10900K. If we look at the gaming performance, the NHD15 will take you to the next level, and you'll have no problems if you ever want to overclock your CPU. We did this on the Ryzen 5600X, which is, as I previously mentioned, overkill, so here are some of the results that came from the 10900K. What you think? Now this all comes at a cost, and you won't be able to find the NHD15 for under 100 buckaroos. All I can say is that the entire bundle is top notch, so I wish it were more affordable. In my opinion, the prerequisite for buying this year cooler is that you have a high-end CPU that you wish to overclock to the limit. 
that is that for this one. If you enjoy the content that we publish, don't forget to leave us a like and smash that subscribe button so we can continue our work. See you next time and be good. Peace.